Viewers are, let's pop this piezo speaker with a mod on a Variac. Power on, Variac's on zero. Power on. Unplug safety first. I took a bit of power. Alright. There we go, off on the mains input. Alright. Yeah, just hark it in internally. Since this is kind of a um, capacitive um, 12 speaker, let's see if I can still get it to work. Since the wire arced off, I just reconnect this on here. Lump of solder, see what it does. Okay. Try again. See if it does nothing. Okay, power on. Oh, still works, but the solder arced off. Unplug, safety first. Alright, oh, uh, I could just set that on there. There you go. You can see that actual piezo material itself just arced away off the speaker. Interesting. So you can kill one of these damn things. Just need a lot of volts to um, break that layer there and break it down. Let's try something else. See if 10,000 volts is enough to break through that CD and arc it out. Power's on, the action zero, main power on. Quarter than 80 volts in. A bit more than 2kV out in the secondary. There we go. Takes a while, but it's working. Plug safety first, very important. Yeah, primer didn't get hot at that voltage. And there you go. If I didn't have any copyrighted music on here, I could probably try and play this, and it probably still work. Track one, I can just see there's a bit of data there it didn't touch, so I probably most probably still work. Interesting. Let's try something else. Lucas generator, I'm going to put power to it and it's going to run like a motor. High amp dependent motor, that is. It's going to kick a bit, so let's connect this up. Should work both ways. Fully charged battery, only gets it for that speed. Let's try the other way. Work quite well. Let's see if a ballasted rectified variac could be enough to run that. Lucas generator on rectified variac. Ballasted for protection. Hundred and forty volts. Two hundred and eighty volts do you see? Unplug safety first. High voltage DC is extremely dangerous because it's a direct current, not oscillating uh, at 50 hertz and peak to peak on and off. With DC, it's on all the time. You're not going to let go, so very dangerous. Yeah, still stone cold. But there you go. It ran off ballast to 280 volts DC. A 12 volt generator, typically found in old tractors, things like that, old Morris cars, anything old and British. Now I'm going to do a vacuum experiment. Little domestic fridge compressor uses a bit of power, a bit more than I thought. This is a modern compressor, too. Get a bit of value to extract. I'm going to vacuum down another aerosol can. A bit bigger this time. 
let's build up some vacuum. Yeah, old photo dryer from a fridge. Here's a Lovelock Luke aftermarket replacement. I think it's designed for R134A. Eh? Just act as a stop shit going back in the tank. So, 3 t run. a bit of encouragement. But there you go. And then it can implode it. That was cool. Uh, thanks for watching.